Before we get started, go down to your status bar and make sure your setting matches with mine. Click the dynamic input, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, dynamic UCS, and go to polar tracking, click this drop down arrow, click tracking setting, and from object snap, click all these um, boxes and for 3d object snap click 3d object snap here and center of face and click ok now bring your drawing to front view let's draw a line from the midpoint here up to this point which is also from this point equal to the size from this point up to this point so it's uh, 54 plus 54 so type L for line command click anywhere on the screen and bring down your drawing for 108 units right click to repeat line just hover on the middle then click and bring your cursor to the right and enter 54 and bring your cursor to the left and enter 108. So this is gonna be the path when we sweep, when we use sweep command, draw a circle with a diameter of 75.1, which is this one here, the outermost circle. So C, type C for circle command. Click the endpoint, type D for diameter option, enter, and enter 75.1. Repeat circle, click this endpoint, enter D for diameter option, and enter 52.5. Copy these two circles from endpoint to endpoint. Copy these two lines, click the midpoint, and paste it on the midpoint. You sweep command, go to the ribbon, click the drop down arrow and select sweep command. Click this circle, and click this one as your path. Right click to, to repeat sweep command, click the circle, right click, enter and click this one for path. I'm just gonna change this to 2D wireframe, it's easier. And sweep again, click this circle, right click, enter, and click this line for path. Repeat sweep, click this circle, right click, enter, and click the other path. Just gonna show you with x-ray. So just gonna turn off the grid. Now I'm gonna combine this object and this object. Change this to shaded with edges. Subtract command from the ribbon. Click this object, right click, and click the object that you want to remove. So this is the one, and this object here. Now change the direction of your Z. So go to Z axis vector from the ribbon. Click anywhere on the screen. Bring your Z upward parallel to the direction of this cylinder here and click the center for the circle type d for diameter option 
an inter we're gonna create this one here this uh, circle here so D for diameter option and inter 61.2 now copy that one from center to center here. Now change the direction of your Z parallel to the direction for this cylinder here across. Circle or type C for circle command. From the center, type D for diameter option and enter 61.2. Copy that circle from center to center here. Now use press pull command and the height for that. Um, we're going to do this part here from this point up to this point, which is 16. From this point up to this point. So I'm just going to use press pull command for that. Just hover over, don't click. Left click. Bring your, let go of your finger. Bring your cursor down for 16 units. Hover over. Once it turns blue, left click, let go of your finger, move your cursor to the left for 16 units. Same process here. Hover over between these two circles. Once it turns blue, left click, move to the right and enter 16 units. Same process here. Hover over, left click. Move your cursor upward for 16 units. Enter. Now we have to do this uh, chamfer, apply chamfer on the edges here. This edge, this edge, all the edges. And the distance for that, the first distance from this point up to the perpendicular point here is 4.1. And from this corner here up to this point is 5.3 so go to solid <clears throat> select chamfer edge and go down to the command prompt click distance enter 4.1 enter and for second distance enter 5.3 enter click this edge enter twice right click to repeat chamfer edge click this edge Enter twice, right click to repeat chamfer edge, click that edge, enter twice, same process here, and enter twice. Now we're done. I'm just going to bring this to top view, copy this object. And maybe just move this one so we can erase these um, guides. Go to home and select slice command. I'm just gonna slice this from this point up to here. Click and click this side. So this is for you to see what's going on inside. I think we're done. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. And see you again for the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.